All right, guys. Uh, Marie Newman, we have a really cool story here. Uh, it's a little bit similar to the Cory Bush story um, in terms of kind of unseating a little bit of a dynasty here. So um, she has beat Dan Lipinski in the he's the incumbent um, for a House seat in Illinois. That is for Illinois' third district. Dan Lipinski has held that seat since 2005. Uh, and his father held that seat for 22 years before him. So, you know, um, another sort of, you know, almost 40 years of of this father-son duo had held this seat in Illinois. Marie Newman uh, unseats him in the primary this year. So she is the general election candidate, um, the Democratic nominee. Um, and I want to urge you all to support her. I'll read from her policy issues here, issues page. Um but it's just it's notable to me that this is another story in, of of kind of just keeping at it. And because she in 2018, she lost to Lipinski and just like Cory Bush got right at right back at it and, and tried again and beat him. Um, someone who's entrenched, someone who, you know, has all the name recognition and, and powerful supporters in the world. And she unseated him. So um, this is. This is the kind of story that we need to keep repeating um, all around the country, right? Um, Corey Bush in Missouri, um, Marie Newman in Illinois, the squad taking their seats, Jamal Bowman, Mondaire Jones, you know what I mean, um, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, Marie Newman, she supports Medicare for All, which is the very first basic litmus test for me, as I've said before. Um, she supports a Green New Deal, which includes a federal job guarantee, so address both environment and economic issues, which are crucial, especially right now. Um, she supports a $15 minimum wage. Um, she supports expanding public et, uh, transportation and enforcing affordable housing requirements. Um, you know, prioritizing universal child care and guaranteed paid leave. So kind of workers rights issues that I think are very critical and that this country is very behind on. Um, she wants to address the opioid crisis in addition to supporting Medicare for all. Um, she also wants to support um, strong funding for mental health, um, uh, mental health care which is also very crucial, especially right now. We covered um, a few days ago that there's like some data out that the country is in a very bad mental state right now in terms of being very depressed and anxious and stressed. Um, large numbers of people having seriously considered suicide. Um, I think that has a lot to do with COVID and the economy as well as a lot of the culture stuff going on right now. And, you know, it's just it is a really bad time for the country. Um, so all of these kinds of things, the mental health stuff, addressing addiction issues um, and providing uh, universal health care through Medicare for all during a pandemic, that all, uh, you know, also very, very, very critical, uh, particularly at this point in time. Um, she wants to protect DACA recipients. Um, so like, you know, humane immigration policy. Um, she wants to implement a path to citizenship that is unambiguous and expedient. So right now, if you're trying to come here from certain parts of the world, mostly from like Hispanic countries, you you have a much different um, experience, much more difficult time and a very different experience through our immigration system than you do if you are trying to come here from, you know, say Europe or whatever. Um, so she wants to create, a, a, you know, a more equitable and um, expedient route to citizenship um transportation and infrastructure this is another critical one spending on infrastructure is key it's been years now since we were found to have a d plus rating um as a country in terms of infrastructure for the richest country in the history of the world in terms of like gdp production that's just a that is shameful absolutely shameful there's no reason for that whatsoever that's a simple political choice just like all of this kind of stuff is um so you know i definitely support um, a large spending on infrastructure and, and, and transportation. Um, and she also, she, she highlights that she wants to get money out of politics. Corruption, a huge, huge problem, prevents a lot of these positive policies um, from coming to fruition. Um, she wants common sense gun reform. Um, she wants education that leads to real jobs. So this is, this is another thing that I think is really critical is like creating um, you know, there's like two separate issues. There's the, the education and then the jobs and um, creating a, a system where, um, you know, you're not coming out of school with all this debt and then not able to take a high paying job. How many people are stuck in like, you know, not literally minimum wage, but something kind of in that ballpark with a bachelor's degree 
you know how often do you guys see like the people posting ridiculous shit like you know starts at 18 an hour master's degree required you know like oh my god um you know it, it's ridiculous so she wants to create a more um you know just just a a better system for people that are coming out of education with with all of this debt more opportunities for those people to succeed and that you know for for young generations in particular millennials are the most educated generation in this country's history and we work more hours than any other generation and yet we cannot afford to buy property we are all struggling to economically survive so the idea that you work hard and then you succeed it's complete bullshit it's just not based in reality it's based in like you know this sort of folklore of like how great america is or what it, it's it's all emotional and patriotism it's not really based in reality the meritocracy is not a real thing. Um, you know, it's just not. <laughs> um, so, um, you know, key, key kind of thing to focus on here for Marie Newman. Um, she wants to promote small and new businesses, another kind of key thing where we, we often see giant corporations um, owning industries, and that ends up being really bad for the consumer. It ends up being really bad for the employees, just the community as a whole. Um, much better to promote um, small and new businesses um, than to promote the big corporations. Um, so, And then she talks here about... Um, racial justice, voting rights, um, reforming the broken criminal justice system. Um, she wants to abolish the death penalty. She wants to end cash bail. That's, that's huge, you know, um, that's a, a major sort of tool that is used um, in oppressive ways by our criminal justice system. She wants economic justice. That's something that doesn't get mentioned enough. Um, environmental justice, LGBTQ rights, um, supporting people with disabilities, women's rights. I mean, just she's she's progressive up and down here. Um, so I just I want to urge you all to support Marie Newman. Um, another really cool story in the sense that she unseated Dan Lipinski, how she did. Um, you know, this is another message to the establishment that we aren't playing around. And, um, you know, if if they're not going to come our way on policy, we're just going to unseat them. So um, I urge you all, if you can donate, um, if you can volunteer, I will post her campaign website in the description box. Support Marie Newman.